pulse ox tells me where he's at with his oxygen and his oh, pulse. Okay. But that's where you see a lot of kids, especially with cerebral palsy, um, have a very narrow feet. It's because good. of the IVs, uh, there's a very good vein in the ankle as right. well as um, pulse ox. So, but they don't change it around from side to side. So when it doesn't get changed, um, it's very much like, you know, when the Chinese used to bind the feet. Yeah. To me, it's no difference when you have a, a system that's wrapped. And also, he'll go to use his feet, let's say, and I'm just saying he because we're, we're talking about bit, but um, you can see how nice, look at the footwork he has on him, the other foot that's free. Yeah. It squishes his toes together. Right. The yeah. sock and everything, right. too. Yeah. But also, look. Look at the right foot, how he can lift it up. Just mm -hmm. the weight difference versus the other foot that's down. So see, takes it off immediately, look the difference. Both feet are up. It's free! <laughs> no, I'm just using that as an yeah. example, what weight does to a baby. But you have a little baby in a NICU, again, I realize you're trying to save the baby's life. So it's not saying don't do any kind of medical intervention. I'm just showing how you need to um, have that variety or variation for his brain to learn that he can do it on both sides.